This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. The border controversy right now, as I've said in the past, certainly is a problem. We, we do have a problem with our infrastructure, with our immigration policy as a whole, as a country. It is mired in complexity, and it takes forever to become a citizen or just a, a permanent resident. It's a nightmare. Our asylum system is broken. And when the economy is good, like it is, um, more people come for opportunity. More people flee oppression and violence and murder and destruction to come for a better life in the grand nation of the United States that we've built over generations. It is a land of opportunity in many, many ways. And when this starts to happen and there's an influx of asylum seekers or just immigrants in general, Republicans freak out because largely the people that come here are from Central and South America. At least that's the problem they have with it, that they are brown people, that they are poor, that they are uneducated to the standard that Republicans believe they should be. They would rather have, you know, a million Elon Musks join them in their ranks of white supremacy. Dan Patrick is one of these characters. He's the lieutenant governor of Texas. He is a demagogue. He is a, uh, not a smart man. And I have two clips for you. One is him continuing to talk, really just parroting, repeating like a, a wind-up doll, like one of those dolls in a, in a, in a store during Christmas that you, you record your voice and then you've seen the videos and then they all go crazy saying the same thing. He's like that, but only for things Donald Trump says. So when Donald Trump says they're emptying out the mental asylums and they're all bringing us rapists and uh, they're going to spread disease, Dan Patrick repeats all of that. I don't know if he believes it or he just knows, oh, this is what Trump wants me to say. So I'll pause brown nosing his butthole for five seconds and I'm going to say it. But he's on the news talking about the invasion by the way, they're not pressing for Congress to solve the problem. They're, they're there for Congress to wait so Donald Trump can solve the problem because that really indicates that the problem's not really the problem they say it is. If it was, they'd want it solved no matter who could solve it. But the first is the news, talking about the invasion, talking about all this nonsense. And the second, I want to show you his motivations, that he's just another white Christian nationalist who invokes the Bible to justify the things that he does. First, him on the news. In Texas, we believe we are following the Constitution. Uh, Article 4, Section 4, Article 1, Section 10, Clause 3. We have a right to defend American citizens and Texas citizens, and we're going to do it. And we're going to win at the court. We passed Senate Bill 4. I, I wrote most of that bill along with Governor Abbott, and that bill will be before the Supreme Court that says we have a right yeah to defend ourselves against invasion because this is an invasion from third world countries well, they're coming here with health issues they're uneducated unemployed we hear the all we, they do is commit crime on the streets we hear Most the urgency them, from you to your point not all uh, but certainly we yes, have numbers all. to show that many of them um, do have these issues and are causing these problems and committing crimes um, on the straight news show of fox news all they do is commit crime if this idiot were to look at statistics or be interested in what the facts on the ground are, he would learn that first generation uh, immigrants to this country commit less crime. It is absolutely be, for fear of being deported, for fear of trouble. They're here to work. They're here to make a better life for themselves. They're not coming here like twisting their mustache and hatching a plan to commit as many crimes as they can. This is propaganda fear-mongering to, to drive an agenda of white supremacy. That's what it is. And it is driven by Dan Patrick's deeply held and fundamental knowledge of the Bible. Here, watch him invoke Revelation. I've been reading Revelation. And he compares uh, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden to the four horsemen of the apocalypse, uh, the, the horse of, of death. It is remarkable, not surprising, but come on, watch this. Just another lie uh, from 
all the Democrats, and that's you know, a strong word to use, Tony. I don't ever really like to call someone a liar, but I look at Jean Pierre, uh, the press secretary. She lies every day. Uh, Mayorkas lies every day. Kamala Harris and the president have lied about border security. And what is frightening to me is it's one thing when someone lies to you, that's bad enough. But when someone knows that you know they're lying to them and they keep lying, I mean, when they say the border is secured, it's just a joke. I mean, look at these numbers. And, uh, you know, I I was actually reading Revelation last night, and I'd been reading it for some time. And and I've compared Biden and, and Harris and May Orcus and, and John Pierre to the four horsemen of the apocalypse in terms of the fourth, um, the death rides with them. So good old Dan Patrick was reading his Bible, reading Revelation. I'm genuinely a little shocked that he didn't call it the book of Revelations. When it's the book of Revelation, he said it correctly. But he is invoking scripture here, talking to Tony Perkins, a, a hateful, bigoted demagogue, and invoking his biblical uh, bona fides. So I'm reading the book of Revelation like a layman who has zero understanding of what the intent of it was, what the original Greek was. It's all just a play to signal to his audience that there is a biblical justification to hate Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and Mayorkas. Uh, what do you say? Uh, I don't like to call people liars and then proceeds to call a series of people liars. I don't like to do it, but this person's a liar, this person's a liar, this person's a liar. Ignoring that the guy who he's ass kissing constantly was was on record as telling like nearly 50,000 lies or something in his first four years in office. Donald Trump is a, an historic liar. An insane liar. He will lie to you about something about yourself that you know to be untrue. He's a liar. A, an ethical and moral coward. Yet it's Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and Alejandro Mayorkas who are the liars. And, and Karine, Karine Jean-Pierre, the, the press secretary. They, they're the liars. The, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. The death rides with them. The same guy who didn't want anybody to wear masks or get vaccines during the pandemic while over a million people in America died. Yeah, it's, it's Joe Biden who's uh, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Death rides with him. Not your team, dipshit. Let's, let's once and for all be fed up with these idiots trying to, to, to blend their politics and their religion, their particular one of thousands, their particular interpretation of the Bible that just so happens to line up perfectly like a, like a, like a gear with their bigotry and their hatred and their fear. What do you think? If you live in Texas, I, I mean, you need to get on the ground, get organized, get active in a campaign, and get these people out of office. 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me. I'd love to hear from you. Daily at dollamore.com. Hey, uh, if you appreciate what I do in this space in independent media, I would appreciate if you help uh, support this work, help produce these videos. For $2 a month, you can become a channel member right here on YouTube. Click that join button. You can hit the super thanks button. You can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. All those are great ways. Make sure you're subscribed. That would be awesome. I'm almost to 600,000. That is uh, a big deal. Uh, a big deal to me. Uh, follow me on social media if that's your thing. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter and Instagram and threads and TikTok and Facebook and Blue Sky. All of them at Dollamore. I'd love to see you there. And I will see you next time. Until then, be genuine, be less like Dan Patrick. It's a bummer that his name's Dan Patrick for, for the other Dan Patrick, the, the sports guy, right? <laughs> be genuine. Take care, one another.